Nicole from Bilo Foods, and I'm interviewing some of our local produce suppliers to learn more about the people behind the products on our shelves. Hi, I'm Kyle Schwalker with Kelly Empty Hot Sauce, and this is our first hot sauce, and this is Ivan Gracia. Oh, hi, my name is Ivan Gracia, Ivan Gracia in Canada, and this is our Chipotle hot sauce. Why did you start making hot sauce? Was there a key moment in life where you decided that this is what you wanted to do? All right. Well, uh, Ivan and I met back in 2015. We uh, started working in his restaurant together. I came as uh, to some, something very fun to do and to learn from him. And we started working together in here. And that's when we decided to work with the hot sauce. Ivan had been making the habanero hot sauce for many years from his family, which I'll actually let him explain that a bit. Uh, yes. Um... I am from uh, near Mexico City, a small state in Mexico, it's called Tlaxcala. And I came to Canada in 2009 and uh, I never planned to stay in Canada. But different opportunities in life, I took advantage of it. In 2015, um, I had the opportunity, opportunity to take over a Mexican restaurant in uh, Salmon RBC. Uh, what I did, so it's uh, how I met Kyle was her, his daughter was working for, for me. And one day uh, she introduced us because he really liked the, the habanero hot sauce. And then he asked me to join me in my team just to have fun cooking, because he loves cooking. <laughs> so that's how uh, we start. And then he mentioned it to me, I was like, hey, let's bottle this hot sauce. It looks like a good product. And I said, sure, let's do it. So, um, I don't know, like the next thing I know, he came with 20 yards with different recipes. He asked me before, like, what do you put in the hot sauce? I told him what I do. And then he came with like 20 different yards. And then he was like telling me, like, try this one. And I was like, whoa, what do you put in this one? And I was like, oh, sorry. So we tried, we did, we tried with maybe, I don't know, a hundred kilograms of fat. Uh, like uh, tomatoes and peppers, and we were like trying to make it until we like we get to a point that he make the recipe for for this hot sauce. So we can do one kilogram to a thousand kilograms with the same recipe. So, how do you like to make your hot sauce? Can you please talk us through your process? Uh, we make the hot sauce with only fresh raw vegetables. So that is that is the that's what differentiates us from other hot sauce types. Um, so it's only a whole food product. Um, what we do is we take the fresh vegetables and we wash them, clean them, make sure everything's right. And then what we do is we have a special process to, to make them all mixed together. And from that point on, we, we just bottle it. And that's, it's a very simple process. It's that, the way exactly what it was done in Mexico many, many years ago. So that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's how we do it. It's pretty simple. Which of your hot sauces do you recommend our customers try first? Well, we're kind of torn on this question because it's a really difficult thing. I, they're so, we've decided to make them so different. The, the habanero, uh, which is our initial hot sauce, which is Ivan's family's recipe, uh, that one is very clean. So it's, it, it goes with almost anything you can put it on, it's, but it has more heat. So, but still all the flavor with all the other vegetables in the product. So. I, I would kind of pick that one for my for my lead-in for, for the, all three. Um, we have a bit of a different appearance, opinion on that at times, but I think that that's what... Yeah, well, you know, three of them, they're really good, but what he's talking about is true. Uh, the, the habanero goes with, you're going to do it with pasta, you're going to eat it with uh, fish, with beef, with chicken. It goes with everything. It's just like add more flavor to your food, whatever you're making. But um, personally, I like uh, a little bit of like pork, meat. I like stuff like we, we, we prefer a lot in Mexico. And I like the jalapeno. The jalapeno one goes with the pork like really well, or with the chicken. So with these two uh, meat, like you can have it. And the flavor, this is unique. Like about the green sauce, the tomatillos are like very particular and it's a little bit a little bit more acid, but the mix with the pineapple, it makes like a, a great, great flavor. So I think uh, it's it depends the taste of the people, right? What makes your product special? Uh, what we're <laughs> saying is like, uh, 
the difference between our hot sauce and any other that we know in Canada is that we are raw. We, make, we put all vegetables together and we blend it and we bottle it that way. So we don't have to heat it just to make it a little bit more uh, lifetime. For us, it's just like we, the ingredients that we put to, to make it longer, or, or all of them are natural. So we have, we use uh, sea salt and also we use vinegar. And it's like the amount of vinegar, we, we put enough to keep it a little bit longer in the fridge. But that's, that's the difference between us and everybody else. We're fresh, like we don't cook it. We don't make it, we don't do every other extra process to make it l last longer. Is there anything else you would like to add? Yeah, and we're thankful for everybody who's been working with us and trying our products. And I love getting out there and doing the demos when we can. And of course, right now it's not possible, but we'll be back at it as soon as we can. We're just very thankful for this opportunity. Yeah, and I'm very, uh, happy to to know that a lot of people they love it and it's where my heritage coming from like sharing with Canada it's amazing and the most important is that Canadians they love it and I was like wow so it's a good thing that for me that it's part of like my culture sharing with everybody here. Be sure to look out for Caliente hot sauce the next time you're in a buy low foods because it is our pick of the month for October. Thank you.